Hey guys, welcome back to our channel CSA Academy. This is a video on soil mechanics, the concept borrow pit and embankment. This concept is very helpful those who are preparing for upcoming exams like GATE as well as IES. So let's get started. So borrow pit is a pit resulting from the excavation of materials generally gravel or sand for use in embankments. Okay. So they are something look like this. So the digged portion this is called borrow pit. So we are borrowing some materials from this particular pit. So this is called borrow pit and this is called embankment. So this is called embankment. So the main relation between borrow pit and embankment is that the mass which is dig from this is equal to this mass. So the mass of mass of borrow pit equal to mass of embankment okay so we know that density equal to mass by volume therefore mass equal to density into volume so this becomes density of borrow pit multiplied by volume of borrow pit equal to density of embankment multiplied by volume of embankment. This is the basic relation between borrow pit and embankment. So this concept is very sufficient for gate and IES problem to solve. Okay, let's see some examples. So the first question is a borrow pit soil has a dry density. So density of borrow pit equal to 17 kilo Newton per meter cube. And how many cubic meters of the soil will be required to construct an embankment 100 meter cube volume with a dry density of 16 kilo Newton meter cube. So density of embankment equal to 16 kilo Newton per meter cube and volume of embankment equal to 100 meter cube so we find volume of borrow pit so from the uh, from the relation mass of borrow pit is equal to mass of embankment okay so from this density multiplied by volume equal to density multiplied by volume so density of borrow pit multiplied by volume of borrow pit equal to density of embankment multiplied by volume of embankment from this volume of borrow pit vb equal to so what is density of embankment it is 16 multiplied by volume of embankment is 100 by so what is density of borrow pit it is 17 so it will approximately 94.11 meter cube so this is our answer so our answer is a next question a fill having a volume of 150,000 cubic is to be constructed at a void ratio of 0.8 the borrow pit soil has a void ratio so he given void ratio of borrow pit eb equal to 1.4 okay and the volume of uh, volume of soil required to be excavated so we should find vb what it's vb so he given that void ratio of fill e 
E equal to 0.8 and volume of embankment equal to 1,50,000. Okay. So we should find VB. So same relation. Density of borrow pit multiplied by volume of borrow pit equal to density of embankment multiplied by volume of embankment. We know that density dry density equal to g gamma w by 1 plus e so therefore rho d is inversely proportional to 1 plus e so we can write it here as 1 by 1 plus e b multiplied by b b equal to 1 by 1 plus e e multiplied by v e from this we can find VB. VB equal to 1 plus EB by 1 plus EE multiplied by VE. That equal to 1 plus what is EB? EB equal to 1.4 by 1 plus what is EE? E, that is 0 0.8 multiplied by volume of embankment. It is 1,50,000. Okay. It will get around so 2.4 by 1.8 multiplied by 1 lakh 50,000 so we will get 2 lakh 2 lakh meter cube that equal to 2 multiplied by 10 to the power of 5 meter cube of soil required to be excavated from barbit which is volume of barbit so our answer is 2 into 10 to the power of 5 meter cube Okay, our last question is embankment field is to be compacted at density of 18 kilonewton meter cube. So, density of embankment is given. Density of embankment equal to 18 kilonewton per meter cube. Okay, the soil of the borrow area is at a density. So, density of borrow pit is 15 kilonewton per meter cube what is the estimated number of trips of 6 meter cube capacity truck for hauling the soil required for compacting 100 meter cube fill of the embankment so volume of embankment equal to 100 meter cube okay assume that the soil in the borrow area and that in the embankment are at the same moisture content so he want to find number of trips so the borrow pit is somewhere and embankment site is somewhere so for transporting material from borrow pit to embankment site there is a truck okay which is having capacity of 6 meter cube so for one trip for hauling the soil required for compacting 100 meter cube fill of the embankment so we will find number of trips okay first we find volume and then if we multiply it by 6 we get the number of trips okay so same thing gamma sorry a density rho of borrow pit multiplied by volume of borrow pit equal to density of embankment multiplied by volume of embankment so volume of embankment equal to density of embankment multiplied by volume of embankment by density of borrow pit so what is density of embankment it is 18 18 multiplied by what is volume of embankment it is 100 by what is density of borrow pit it is 15 it gives 18 by 15 multiplied by 100 so 120 meter cubes will be the volume of borrow pit so the volume here is 
120 meter cube. So for one trip, the truck can carry 6 meter cube. So for 120 meter cube, it will 6 meter cube for one trip. Okay. For 120 meter cube, how many trips? Okay. Therefore, x equal to 120 by 6, which is equal to 20 trips. So the answer is B. Okay. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like and comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.